Uh, you've won the U20 Player of the Year. How do you feel? Um, good. Um, I don't know. I guess it's just cool to be um, on that list of players nominated for the award. Um, you know, so many. I don't know. I guess it's just a it's just a good list to be on, and I'm just happy to be uh, have my name on that list alongside everyone else. So you're here right now with um, the U20 player yourself, U17. Yeah. Obviously, the women's player is going to be on the team. Yeah. Christine's just had a milestone goal. Erin is now the most capped keeper ever. What is it like being on this? Um, it's pretty cool. I mean, I guess it's cool to see kind of all the different age groups coming together and um, I don't know, I guess there's just a lot of different talent on the team and different personalities on the field. So um, I don't know, I guess it's coming together nicely and it's a pretty special group to be with. Okay, and one last question for you. Uh, going into Brazil, yeah. Um, it's cool you guys have seven goals in the tournament, clean sheet. Yeah. Probably expecting something a little bit different. What are you expecting from your first match? Um, I don't know. It's going to be a fight. I mean, I think it always is with playing countries like Brazil, but um, I don't know. I think we're excited. I think we're up for the challenge. We're uh, ready to dig in for the battle, and um, I don't know. I guess we're just excited to kick it off. Again, we're just on task with you know, what the outcomes of this tour are, which is part of its assessment for more players. This provides a tier one test. I mean, the team haven't played a team like this or even been prepared to play a team like this since the World Cup. So it'll be tough. And, and we've put a lineup out there that has given that sort of respect to Brazil and adapted the tactics with that in mind. But also, you know, we had players planned to play in this match. and. Those players will get time, young players will come in or they'll start and be tested against a real top team that's in some great form. Well, they've this will be their fifth international match in their three-week training camp or four weeks they've been together. So I expect them to be right on the ball, which they showed against Mexico. I mean, they were outstanding. So we have to look at our defensive solidarity first. The previous two games, every focus has been around the attacking side. Uh, this match will be about defending, getting that component set, exposing the younger players to this sort of speed and skill level and, and where possible make sure that our attack and transition takes it up to a level that we, we didn't see at the World Cup and that's what these players have been challenged with. Well what I know about Brazil, they they were the only team in the World Cup that were ahead of us in terms of their defending uh, effectiveness. They were the best at that World Cup, only conceded one goal with Canada and the US joint behind them in second place. So we know that they can defend well, very athletic players, but any team with Martyrin, Deborah, Formiga, Thaisa, I mean these are top class female players that will push our girls to their technical limits. But we've encouraged them, we've encouraged them to look at some of the weaknesses of Brazil and, and to look to exploit it. So. You know, it's a balancing act. I want the girls to, to keep pushing forward with their attacking space, but that's going to leave us open. There will be some mistakes made and we may get punished, but at the end of the day, we aren't at the Olympics yet and there's still a focus on some outcomes. So we're not going to hide away from the attacking side and bunker in and defend against Brazil. We'll, uh, we're looking to win the match.